Mm-hmm. Good morning, cats. I'm Jada Harris. And I'm Joshua Renfro. If you have if you have nothing to do this summer, there is an amazing opportunity offered by Ball State for next school year's upperclassmen. It is called the Star Talk Chinese Summer Camp from July 6th to July 30th. It is for next school year's upperclassmen. It starts at 9 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. It is only $50 to receive this unique opportunity to get experience this culturally rich and academically stimulating program. This can be used as a dual credit course to earn three credits for either high school or college. And remember, this is a class for beginners. It will be held at the Fishers Center for Academic and Economic Innovation. Make sure to get your application turned in by May 21st, but try to complete it earlier than that because only the first 20 applicants are accepted. So apply quickly if this opportunity interests you. In the subscription of the video, there will be an email for you if you have any questions. If you would like to take summer classes, to maybe face fast grades or get ahead, you can take these from your computer. The sign up for these is now posted on <laughs> Lawrence North or Canvas. Next week is the last week of school. This is a time to fix any grades and getting missing assignments turned in. Next week is used for a final week, but if you do not have any finals, then use that week to catch up. If you're not sure about how next week's schedule is going to go, we are here to help. Next week, each class will be three hours long. I know that seems like a long time for three hours, but trust me, you probably won't be there for the whole time. Here is what next week will look like. Monday, you will have G1 and G2. Tuesday, you will have G3 and G4. Wednesday, you will have R5 and R6. Thursday, you will have R7 and R8. Friday will play out as it will normally. Now onto a commercial and weather with Isaiah King. I'm Isaiah. I'm here with you weather for today. Today, we're going to have a high of 77 and low of 51. It's currently 69 degrees. Expect thunderstorms later on today. After school, it's going to be 70 and before school tomorrow, it's going to be 43. And for the rest of the week, it's going to be in the 80s and 70s with today, thunderstorms, and Sunday, a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. So be ready for that. And that's all I have for today. So have a good rest of your day and go Cavs. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, fries. Oh, you nasty. Best fries. Which fast food do you 
I'm gonna have to say McDonald's because you feel me? They used to have a little action figure you used to play with all the time. Stop it. Get some help. Who do you think has the best fries? Rowley's. Rowley's. It's Popeyes. What? Why? Why got these fries? Stupid or something. Alright, what's up, Cash? Um, I think JP stands for Joshua Timothy. I don't know. <laughs> Just talk. You stupid. Um, it stands for JP Owens speaking for Popeye. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor, running back, Indianapolis Colts. I think JP stands for Jet Stream. What? Uh, I think it stands for Jonathan. Um, I think it stands for Jeremiah. <laughs> what up, Cash? This is Jimmy and I'm Jimmy. Brandon. All right, man, here we got a question for you. What is your dream college? Harvard. Harvard? Why Harvard? I'm here with Tia. Yeah. Alright, Tia, what's your question, man? What's up? What's your dream college, man? LSU. LSU, boy. Right. Randy Moss, Uncle Dale. Okay. Uh, Jarvis Landry, okay. Martez, Justin Jefferson. They okay. all went to LSU. Alright, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Cash Uncle Vaughn, and I'm here with Kendall. Yeah. And I gotta say a question for you. What's your dream college? My dream college is IU Bloomington. Welcome back. Issa May and Jameson Riffer are the Wildcats of the week. Issa May became the first ever Ellen tennis player to win the MIG championship at one singles. She won 6-0, 6-0 in her first match, 6-0 and 6-1 in the second match, and then beat her Carmel opponent in the final 6-2, 7-5 for the MIG title. She is currently undefeated 9-0 this season. Rizzer is a senior fired in 81 to lead the Wildcats at the North Central Golf Invite over the weekend and was the medalist in the LNLC Ritter match, shooting a 40 to lead LN to the win. Great job, Wildcats. Shamar Avance and DJ Hughes had an opportunity to play on their home floor for one last night, representing Team Indiana in the Prep Ball Stars Midwest Challenge. The event showcased some of the best high school basketball players from Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Indiana. Indiana beat Wisconsin 115 to 100 in the first game and then beat Michigan 144 to 122 in the championship game. Baseball team is on an eight game win streak. After winning six games this week, there were a lot of close games where the Cats were able to pull off wins in the final few innings. The Wildcats beat HSEE 10-9, then took three straight from Lawrence Central, two conferences games, and the opening round of the Marion County Tournament. The scores were 3-2, 7-3, and 4-2 in the second round of the Marion County Tournament. The team run roared Decatur Central 11-1 in six innings in the semifinals against Perry Meridian, down 8-5 after the six innings. 
The Cats scored three runs in the bottom of the seventh inning to tie the game, then scored in the bottom of the eighth inning to win it. Nine to eight. On Monday night, the boys' baseball team lost to Bree Buff 2-0. to zero. Although they lost, it was amazing that they made it that far. Great job, guys. If you couldn't attend prom, then here's what you missed. Donovan McCauley and Paris McClendon won prom king and queen, and you missed Sage's amazing outfit. For sure. <laughs> that is all we have for you today, guys. Have a great day, and, and go, go Cats! Cat.